Oil pressures are good. Fuel pressures are good. Bell's coming up. It's gonna be bumpy. Brakes, gears coming up. Oil pressures are all good. Come on, you're climbing. You're, you pull back on yeah. a little bit. Do you keep sec bags in here? I've never thrown up in an airplane, but I just might. Just don't miss the bag. And you get to take the bag with you when you leave. Back in July, I had the opportunity to fly in Glenn Hancock's 1936 Lockheed 12A Electra Jr. In this video, we take a look at how Glenn operates the aircraft, and I even get a turn to fly the Electra from the right seat. Let's go check it out. Okay, you gotta fly control. Fly control. Everybody's going to want to make sure you've got the noise canceling turned on or you'll be deaf. So now we're going to watch as Glenn does the run up in the Lockheed Electra. And you'll see that it's no different than doing a run up on any multi engine or complex aircraft. Alright, so now we're going to do our run up. Alright, so we're going to go 1700 on the left engine. Bag check and Rob's like, I'm trying to pay six eight fifty. Rob is turning right base, right base one seven, Chairman. All right, props. Feather Simpson and Manifel P. Yes, sir. Electric props. We got the battery. I'm trying to pay six eight fifty. Alternator is turning final one seven, Chairman. Oh, that's good. Oil pressure's high, which the oil's still kind of cool. Fuel pressure's good, so everything's looking good up here. We'll pull this guy back. All right, right engine coming up. Oop, not that one. Ooh. Come on. Sitting here looking at the airplane flying at me. No, I didn't get that on YouTube. <laughs> so just a brief here. What we're going to be doing is when we get turned around here, we're, I'm going to push this up to about 29 inches or so. We ought to be sitting pretty close to 1900 RPM. If everything's okay, we go to 36 inches for the takeoff. Tail comes up. Around 80 is where we're going to end up lifting off, somewhere around there. Um, if we have any kind of problem at all, these are not, these will not feather the engine. So there's no point in even messing with these. These two buttons are what actually feathers. Okay. So if, once we identify which engine we're having a problem with, we'll hit the button for the opposite engine. And then the, the big thing is we got to stay above 90 miles an hour. So what I'll be doing is aiming for the tops of the trees at the other end. That way I don't have to think about speed because that is all I got anyway. Um, and so we'll get it cleaned up. The gear will come up as soon as we're, the belly's up off the ground. So I don't mess around with the gear. So. And that's about all there is. German traffic, Cessna 084, being parked on the grass, German. All right, everybody in and ready? Yep. All right, so we're looking for our 30 inches and about 19. We're good, going to 36. Oil pressures are good. Fuel pressures are good. Bell's coming up. are all good coming back to 30 so I'm gonna come on back to 27 
All right, everything's good. Your airplane. My airplane. So we'll just stop at 2,500 feet. Yeah. So you'll have to trim it. It flies kind of nose down, so. Okay. See what, I'm gonna switch over here to the front tanks. We'll burn a little bit more in a bit. Everybody good back there? Yep. Doing great. Yeah. Good. Okay. All right, your airplane. I have the controls. So you wanna, we're gonna stay at 2,500. Okay. So you're, you're climbing, you're, you pull back on it yeah. a little bit. So the trick to flying an airplane like this is to let the airplane fly itself. Don't try to manhandle it. Cause okay. It's too big. Am I allowed to make any turns? Yeah. Okay, I'll go up to the right here, I think. You want 24? 25. 25. I mean, you, you're, you're fine. Just, I don't want to yeah. be at 45 in a minute. So. Yeah. Controls feel really nice. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet flying airplane. Nice. Chairman traffic, chairman traffic, Archimedes. Do you keep sec bags in here? I've never thrown up in an airplane, but I just might. <laughs> look, look under your feet right there. On, on yep. the, Bumpy right on, well, I tell you what. I tell you what. Then we won't do a fl uh, flyby. We'll just land. I'm okay with a flyby as long as you don't pull up real hard. All right. It's gonna be bumpy. All right. Make you one more turn to the left here, and then we'll. Sounds good. Go up somebody else. Yeah, I guess I'm tugging back on the yoke too much on the turns. Yeah, the, it flies more nose down than you think. But it doesn't care. Right. I'm here now. For, uh, oh, got it. Right. Give it the flight controls. Okay. Let me unlatch. Just turn it. Turn it. Okay. Let me get out of here in one piece. All right. You got it. Hi, airplane. Yeah, this thing really does fly itself. Yep. So after letting some more people get some time at the controls, we headed back to do a low pass over the field. Yeah, Lockheed's about a half mile final, one seven. All right, old pressures and fuel are good. Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah, there's always that drop right before. Parker's turn to base behind the Lockheed now, it's only 170. Chairman traffic, Kevin Air, 3 c Tango is about 5 miles to the west. We'll be entering right hand traffic runway 17. Wow. Archer, we're about to 8 miles off the field. We're going to have some maneuvers here with 3,500. Okay, we'll follow the uh, Devon Air and now we're on the uh, right base. Sounds like a plan, Dan. We need to go ahead and start heading north for people we're familiar with. I'd like to say a big thanks to Glenn Hancock for the opportunity to experience flying this amazing airplane and go check out his channel if you would like to see more about it. As always, thanks for watching and peace.